Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Alrighty, I'm in the F86 Sabre for DCS World, and I'm still trying to wrap my head around how to do some things, like rockets. So, I think I figured a couple things out, but we'll see. Alright, I hit something that time. So basically, how I did that was, I went down here, and I flipped the switch for auto-release instead of manual. And that shoots all the rockets all at once, which is rather nice. You reset my cockpit position here. So it's definitely a unique bird to learn. I turn them on and turn them off so I could see where those targets are because I have a real hard time seeing things that small. Nice. So I kind of like the auto thing. So really what I wanted to do more than anything is just take a look at the Sabre again in VR. And I'm trying really hard to give it a fair shake, guys. So let's go back to flipping that sight around. They say you can damage it if you have it caged or uncaged. I forget which. And it's not accurate under 6,000 feet either, so there is that. Okay, let's try this again. I don't know how people see stuff like that. It's just, it's, it's buried in there. Boom. See how it bounces all over? I think it's this way that I need to do it. I seem to be a little more accurate that way. So it's definitely fun in VR. It's growing on me. Still not happy with the performance. It still feels very heavy. And uh, it feels like it's underpowered, if you ask me. All right. Nice hits. So I'm starting to have fun in this thing in air to ground. Although I have fun in everything in air to ground, to be honest. Give me some rockets and some guns and, you know, I can usually figure out a way to hit something. Now bombing, that's something else. Haven't got that far. There we go. More stuff destroyed. Looks like that damage I'm doing is uh, gradual but useful. See what else I can find down here to take a hit at. What other stuff can I chuck some rockets at here? So hard to see some of this stuff. And that was a complete miss that time.
So anyways, that is in VR, air to ground, in the Sabre. So that's where I'm having fun with it, in air to ground. Air to air, not so much. And again, to me, it feels like it's just very, very underpowered. Let's take a look at the Intercept mission in VR and the F-86F Sabre. Alrighty. Intercept. Two TU 95s. Let's give it some juice and let's see what we can find. It's also really hard to find a sweet spot to set up your position here in VR, you know? And you can cage and uncage this thing, and it seems to be better when I do this. This is more of the manual sight for using the guns. At least I seem to be a little more effective that way. Also takes forever to catch anything in this plane. Like I saw something up ahead, a couple dots way up there. Yeah, there they are. So I should have packed a lunch because it just seems like it takes forever to get anywhere in this plane. I just feel like I'm sitting and with my head kind of cocked down low to see through this little slat which is the uh, HUD glass you know and I'm going full speed I'm going to turn the labels off now that I see where they're at. That usually makes people happy. I'm going to reset my cockpit again. Uh, so hard to get that. There we go. So I'm not scrunching down in my seat to try to get my eyes at the right level here all right at this point I suppose I could go back to this which is the calculated site why did I pause I don't know why but it seems like this module has paused more than anything and I haven't had a pause in DCS world in forever now the fun parts slowing down there we go a couple hits Coming back for you. Don't don't worry. I haven't forgot about you. It's like it takes forever to get you up to speed, and then slowing it down is a whole other issue in itself. Come on.
There we go. So I figured out the uh, gun sight, and it's uh, it's growing on me. It's taken some effort to figure out, but I think I'm getting there. Oh, I'm flying a Canadian plane at this point through the clouds. How about that? Going down. All right, let me see. All enemy aircraft have shot, been shot down. Good job. All right, let me start this over again. I'm going to try something else this time. I've got a couple Gar 8s or whatever they're called, which are like, you know, uh, old school, original sidewinders, from what I understand. So the challenge is figuring out... There it is. There's a... There we go. There's a switch to put me into missile mode. So now I'll find these guys and we'll uh, give missiles a shot. And once again, it's going to take me a little bit to uh, get there. It takes a while to get it up to speed and takes some effort to get it to slow down again too. So we're about 0.85 Mach. Like I said, I don't think this is ever going to be my favorite module, but I, I think I'm growing to like it a little more than I did when I did my first impressions video. Turn them labels off now. I think I have everything set up right. Come on. Unless I'm doing something wrong, I would think this thing would start growling by now. Or there we go. Nice. He's trying to juke it. Man, why are they missing? Oh, I think I was still locked onto the last target. That's what it is. That's all right. I can come back around and I'll find him. Sure, he's not going to make it very far. He's got a, a lovely trail behind him, making it pretty easy to find him. 
Or you know what? To make sure. There we go. Come on, pick him up. Yeah, it's kind of weird how these work. Come on, buddy. Clouds look really nice today. Man, how far ahead of me is he? There we go. That one's got to hit him. Really? All right, then. And let's go back to this. Uh oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Another pause again. I really don't know what's going on with this sim today. But that is early Sidewinder technology and guns with the calculated gun sight and uncaged as well. So again, it's taken some getting used to. Um, I guess I doubt this is ever going to be my favorite module, but I am getting a little bit more comfortable with it. And uh, it's starting to be a little more useful to me. So that is air-to-air -air and some limited air-to-ground with some rockets in VR in the F-86 Sabre for DCS World. So as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to hit that like button. And until next time.